Barrett's esophagus is reasonably common. It affects approximately 1% of the population or 10% of those patients who have acid reflux who have an endoscopy. However, Barrett's associated esophageal adenocarcinoma or adenocarcinoma that develops in Barrett's esophagus is reasonably uncommon. It affects approximately 2% of those with Barrett's esophagus in their lifetime. And it's important to remember that most patients with Barrett's never die of Barrett's associated cancer. However, those with Barrett's who progress, their annual risk, their risk per year of developing cancer is about 0.2%. Now that risk is increased if there's a long segment of Barrett's, which is over three centimetres. If there's a family history of Barrett's cancer. And in those who have obesity and possibly those with a history of smoking. <laughs>